Shalom, Shalom. The foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Rakakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles for the edification and knowledge. And the Wadi Yahshim Yahshah for putting the spirit of the elders and apostles that become edified regarding this truth and knowledge. Knowing this truth and knowledge. Call Holy Yah Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Rakakadash. Give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Rakakadash. I'm going to do some scriptures relating to the uh, Lord's judgment. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and I create darkness. I make peace. I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So the Lord do all these things. He created the light. He created darkness. He created peace. He created evil. That's all balance. Um, a false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Level one in um, Proverbs, man. So the Lord's about balance. So he created peace. He also created evil. But guess what? All of them were created for ultimately for the purpose of Yahweh Bashim Yashah. Because the Lord does all these things, man. Let's go to Amos 3 and 6. So when you see evil happen, you know the Lord is behind it because ultimately the Lord created it, man. Six. Shall a trumpet in Amos 3 and 6 shall a trumpet be blown in a city? Trumpet is a loud instrument, warning, and the people not be afraid. Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? And, and the Lord have not done it. So if it's evil in the city, the Lord has done it because the Lord, both Isaiah 45 and 7, the Lord created evil, man. So if it's evil in the city, the Lord's behind it, man. Especially if it, it regards judgment, man. You've seen a lot of judgment that's happening. Celebrities, different people. Some of them are, some of them are not celebrities, but regular people get judged, man. First of Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth, he maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave, to the ground, and bringeth up. That's balance, man. So the Lord does all those things, man. For he created the light, he created dark, he created peace, he created evil. For the Lord, I, the Lord, do all these things. So the Lord killeth, he can make up alive, he can bring it to the ground, he can, he can uh, bring it up again. For the Lord does all those things, man. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God. Um, Hebrews 10 and 31, man. Let's go to... Um, Go to Psalms 9 and 16. The Psalms 9 and 16. The Lord is known by judgment, which he executed. So the Lord is known by judgment, man. Scripture talks about the, uh, the issues from death. Lead us in um, um, Psalms chapter. We read this. So the issues of death are from the Lord, basically. And the Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared 
in the works of his own hands. So his own hands, his own, his own, his own hands, his devices, the traps he set, sets. Ultimately, is gonna come upon him, man. Higian Selah, Selah. So um, the Lord is known by judgment. He's also known by the diversity and kinds of judgment he can do. Scripture talks about Ecclesiastes uh, or Sirach talking about for the Lord created spirits for vengeance. And they shall lay on sore strokes and appease the one who uh, who uh, appease the one who made them. Uh, paraphrasing, wild beasts, scorpions, different um, um, different forms of judgment the Lord can use to execute upon what the wicked. Uh, we will not get that scripture as well. So the Lord is known by His diversity of judgments, the way how He executes it, how it wants to be, uh, how He how um, the style of how it's going to be issued out and the way it's going to be issued out bro. go to um, let me go to that since I quoted it So Rock 39, 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. So that pain and punishment. In the time of the destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of, of him that made them. So that force is that judgment that, that's going to be set upon what? The wicked, man. And they like executing that judgment. Fire, hail, the famine, the death, all these were created for vengeance. These are different elemental scourges that's ultimately used uh, for vengeance upon what? The wicked. Scourge is a tool to implement for punishment, man. The teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serp serpents, in the sword punishing the wicked to destruction, man. So these things are used to execute punishment upon the wicked, man, for their destruction, man. Let's go to uh, the Psalms, see what's 58. Get a verse real quick. Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our God is the God of salvation into God the Lord Yahweh below the issues from death. Man. So this is a death from God alone to Yahweh Shemir Let's go to uh, Let me go to Psalm 7 real quick. Psalm 7 and 11. God judgeth the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. So the Lord is angry at the wicked, man. The Lord is angry at the wicked. He's going to judge the wicked, man, in his due time and due season, man. Go to um, 
God's judgment. Let's go to some verses related to God's judgment. A few verses and we're good. Second Corinthians uh, five and ten. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach Yahushua, that everyone may receive the things done in the body according to that they have done, whether it be good or bad. So receive pretty much um, relating to the things you have done, whether good or bad, relate to that judgment. Right? Um, First of Peter 4 and 17, this is going to happen. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. That means the Israelites. So it begins in his backyard first, man. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? That relates to the other nations. That relates to the other nations, man. Matthew 12, 36 and 37. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So every idle word, everything false, for example, false, bearing false witness, saying things, you're going to be held accountable. We're all going to be held accountable. Whatever idle word we say, we're going to be, we're going to be held accountable. Whatever thing we do, whether good or bad, as scripture says, we're going to be held accountable. We'll read it again. But in, I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by, for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be given. By, thou shalt be condemned. So you're going to be either justified by your words or condemned by your own words. So your tongue will be your own either will be your own your own will be your own will be your best friend or it will be your own worst enemy, man. So the tongue is uh, tongue is life and death, man. The tongue is a little evil member, so so you be um either um it'll be to either your benefit or not. But either way, you'll be held accountable still for what you do, whether good or bad. Either way, it will, it whatever idle word you you are, uh, you have to be held accountable for that. The eyes of Yahweh Shimon Um Let's go to um, Psalms chapter two and John 3, 6, 17. But God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him that might be saved, that world of Israel that be saved. Man. Because without him, Israel, that world, which is that particular sector, would not be able to come back to the Father. Would not, would not be able to come back to the Father unless um, Yahweh was that mediator or the middleman to, to ultimately be that sacrificial lamb. So they wouldn't be able to come back to um, the Father if Yahweh Shai didn't sacrifice for them, for that particular world, which is that nation of Israel, man. That's the world that's speaking of, man. And through that, uh, and through, um, that world would have to come back through first the Son, because it's a chain of order, man. For example, that every head of man is, every head of woman is a, a man, and every head, head, head of man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of Yahweh uh, of Yahweh Shai is the father Yahweh that's that spiritual chain of command or a spiritual chain of order man. so that world wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be able to come back through the father unless Yahweh Shai was that sacrificial lamb man. and they had to go back through Yahweh Shai anyway to even go to the father let's continue on
316, which is a famous word of the Christians, for God so loved the world, that world is what? Israel, that he gave his only begotten son, for whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For it's impossible to please, without faith it's impossible to please, Lord. Uh, the please, on the, uh, let me get the scripture. So that belief goes to the faith, man. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to, to God must believe that he is, and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Uh, Shalak on the, um, the butchery. So without faith, it's, it's impossible to please the Lord. So you have to believe that he is, that he must believe that, that he is. He, he is who he is. And the purpose of what he had done for the nation of Israel, man. So that's that faith and the rewarder of them that diligently seek it, diligently seek it. By the hope and the faith and believing, man. And through the, um, the knowledge of the scriptures, man. Let's go back to... Uh, It is four and four, ye adulterers and adulterers, know that ye, ye know ye not that a friendship of the world is an enmity, which is an enemy of God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world, be a, will be, we read it again, ye adulterers and adulterers, know ye not that the friendship of the world is an enmity of God. Yahweh. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of the Lord. So these things, these with these characteristics are enemy to the Lord. The ways of this world, man, are enemy to the Lord, man. Nine and eight of Psalms. And he shall judge the world in righteousness, and he shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. And that's Yahweh Shai, ultimately establishing in that new, that new, in the matter of speak, that new spiritual order, world order on earth, man, but in righteousness, man. Fourteen and twelve. So then, every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. I'll go with Second um, Corinthians five and ten. So we be held accountable for our, for what we do, whether good or bad. Let's go to. Um, Second Chronicles 
Then shall the trees of the woods which are far sing out in praise of the Lord because he cometh to judge the earth. So, the, so the, the, even the earth will be at peace once the Yahweh Shemek shall comes back. Because right now everything is out of order, out of course. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. 35. And say, ye save us, O God, of our salvation, and gather us together, and deliver us from the heathen, that we may give thanks to the holy name and the glory in, his, in thy praise. And that's what they wait for, man. That's what the nation of Israel wait for, be delivered from the heathen, the adversary, the other nations, the ways of captivity, man. Be delivered, man. So a new form of order will be established again, but in righteousness, man. That being said, this was just a few verses. That was, um, first of all, uh, Chronicles 16.33-35. Just a few verses related to the Lord's judgment, a little bit, because uh, the Lord is judging, man. For the, uh, the Lord is beginning to judge the earth which He has made, man. Second uh, uh, Ezra nine and two, man. You see, in all these things happen, calamities, different types of judgments, man. That being said, this is um, this is Brother Zayah, which means wolf. Hope this helps in some way. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Shemuel Shabbat Shemur Kadash, the water shall thanks.